Hello everyone, and happy holidays! Today we'll be looking at Perotin's Viderunt Omnes, a very early work and certainly one of the oldest Christmas songs, and I thought my dad's Peter Alexander album was old. Get ready, it's time for a Mita Blitz lesson! V Imagine a world where we've never heard a Mahler symphony, a Bach cantata, or even a madrigal. A world where textures with multiple independently moving voices, also known as polyphony, barely exist at all. That's exactly where listeners were in the holiday season of 1198 when Perotin is believed to have written Viderut Omnis. It's hard to overstate just how exceptional this work was for its time. Viderut Omnis is written in a style called Organum Quadruplum. We'll get to the organum part later, but quadruplum refers to the fact that the work has four voices, which is important because this is historian's first documented example of a work in four voices. Let's listen to just the beginning. V If it sounds shocking now, think about how it must have sounded to listeners at the time, who were only just getting used to music in two parts, or in other words, hearing intervals at all. The earliest organa used cleaner sounding fourths and fifths, but Periton's range is much broader, including the use of spiky dissonances. Though Periton's harmonic complexity, documented in the Magnus Liber, paved the way for the medieval counterpoint that would come later, Viderunt Omnes often defies today's concept of medieval counterpoint, with dissonances on downbeats and parallel fifths. Listen to this essentially cluster chord, which sounds more like something from a modern Eric Whitaker choir piece than a moment from a piece written over 800 years ago. Or how about this wild cadence? Speaking of dissonance, Perotin and his predecessor in the Notre Dame school, Leonin, managed dissonance using six rhythmic modes. Four of those modes were based on the number three, which in their era was associated with the Holy Trinity and therefore a sacred use of time. Perotin's use and occasional mixing and matching of the first, fifth, and sixth rhythmic modes results in passages like this. Does that remind you of any time signatures you know and love? Another interesting feature about Viderunt Omnes is that for its time, it was a long work. Most of the work is in the organum style. Remember I promised we'd get back to it? In an organum, the tenor voice can mostly be described as a sustained drone. But in one section, Perotin speeds up the tenor voice so that it follows the rhythmic modes. Such a section is known as a clausula. Our clausula is short in the context of the piece. Let's hear the whole thing. Can you feel the absence of the held out tenor voice? There's even silence for a moment. After the clausula, we're back into the organum style, and then Perotin closes with the heavy hitter of the day, plain chant, which, if you aren't familiar, was a single line sung in unison. Every liturgical work at that time had at least some plain chant. So the structure of Vita Rut Omnes is organum, clausula, organum, plain chant. The plain chant section contains the majority of the words. In fact, the entire organum clausula organum portion, which lasts several minutes, is made up of only the first two words, vide rune omnis. Those two words are sung so slowly that it's almost impossible to understand any of the text until we get to the plain chant. But it's still worth considering our joyful little text. Vide rune omnis is Latin for all shall see. The plain chant follows all shall see, salvation to the end of the earth of our God. Rejoice in God, all the earth. A cleric at the University of Paris shortly before Perotin's tenure said of an organum in just two voices that the music was dangerously tempting, but also, quote, transports the soul to the company of angels. Imagine if that cleric could have heard Perotin's bold and heavenly Viderunt Omnis. He probably would have said it was a Christmas miracle. 
If you liked the video, don't forget to prove it. Talk to us in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more Meta Blitz lesson videos. On behalf of all of us on the Arts Interactive Meta team, happy holidays.